What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is me, the Crypto Nico, and today we get to talk more and more about Cardano, what it's been doing, how it's been doing, why it's doing the things that it's doing, and what does it needs to what it what does it need to break to uh, soar higher? Like what? Why? Why is it going so high, or why is it not going so high, or how does it get to the point where it's like, oh, look at that, it's going up and to the right, to the moon, to the moon. Anyway. Uh, before we go ahead and get into it, guys, hit that subscribe button, like it, share it out. I appreciate it. I love you very much for doing that for me. We're doing great content every single day just for you. And also, anticipate I will be launching a coin here sometime in the near future. So be on the lookout for that as well. All right. So now that that's over with, let's go ahead and see what Cardano has been doing today. All right, so we are in the midpoint of the RSI data, looking at a 40 cents, 40 cents since uh, the 25th. We pumped from 35 cents all the way up to 40 and a half cents. Really, really cool. Doing the same exact price action as Bitcoin. Well, not exact, but similar, similar price action to Bitcoin. You can see you have that little pump, a little bit of a dump, and then kind of like the sideways stuff going on. So as we could see, there is some sideways action for that. Um, you know, we're, we're continuing on our path. Really, really cool stuff going on there. Hopefully, we can see what these resistance levels look like that we have to break through. Okay. Uh, let's go back to Nomics, and we could see the entire crypto market. A little bit of uh, deviations here or there. Nothing too nuts going on. Whoa, what is that going on with Chain? What is that? Holy moly. It's probably one of the biggest gainers. Yep, it is the biggest gainer of today. Dogecoin at 9% also gained uh, 9 or 9.9%, 9 almost 10%. And Phantom at 6.29%. Really, really cool. Um, and then, of course, the biggest losers, Tokenize Exchange, Time Wonderland, and Ecomi. Huh, interesting. All right, well, uh, market's looking pretty... Uh, stagnant, nothing too nuts going on, but there has been the different deviations going on there. Now, before I go ahead and get into the news of today, Clear Cryptos has launched. Uh, go ahead and check out clearcryptos.com. It has a swap site. You click on that swap. You can go ahead and swap your Clear Cryptos or any token that you'd like um, with another token. You just have to connect your wallet and do so, and you can operate within the site. There's also this little uh, kind of uh, thing where you can click back and forth uh, where you could see different videos that you can uh, essentially uh, peruse through to help you in your trade your trading endeavors and there's a little fiat button here you click on that fiat button and there's a little bit of a fiat on ramping site you don't have to go through coinbase or anything you can actually buy crypto through um, these different uh, I guess um, abilities here with transact MoonPay, Mercurio, and wire um, with your credit card debit card Google Pay or Apple Pay all you got to do is just put in the amount and boom you go ahead and buy it Clear Crypto has also launched its own uh, cryptocurrency. Check that out. It's been doing pretty nice. And uh, yeah, let's go into the news. So this is the level ADA needs to break in order to soar high or higher. Um, here's a little bit of a key support levels here. So the support levels are 38 cents and 33 cents. And the key resistance levels are 42 cents and 50 cents. Not financial advice, of course. Um ADA moved above 40%, uh, 40 cents. The bulls were unable to take the price much higher as they were stopped by the key resist level, resistant level of 42 cents. The support at 38 cents and buyers managed to use this level to pivot for their most recent rally. Should they fail to break the resistance, then ADA will fall back to the key support levels, which would be kind of like down here, right? So um, there's a little kind of uh, pictorial of what's going on. Here's a support line. Here's a resistance line. And it's kind of just maintaining, you know, maintaining in this like little region here. Um, as of today, you know, we're at 40 cents. So we are, you know, we're, we're like, uh, yeah, we're, we're like here. We're about here, right? So you might see more of this kind of action going on within this little channel here that's created. Uh, the trading volume has been declining at, um, ever since ADA broke above 40 cents. And this is not encouraging for bulls. But again, we're in a really weird market these days. So you might find that there's uh, there, there might be some either buy or sell pressure depending on what's going on. The MACD, the daily MACD, um, which is a uh, you know tool used for trading, is bullish, it says, right? However, historic, the histogram has made a lower high, which could signal a possible reversal in the current trend if it continues. There you go. I mean, enough said there, right? 
Okay, well, now you have it for your little technical analysis here for Cardano slash ADA, whatever you want to call it. Um, and hopefully um, it helps you in, in your, your trading. You know, this, this is some significant information. This was given about two hours ago. We're still kind of uh, still in that channel there. So make your, uh, your trading, uh, you know, moves as you continue. And, and hopefully, uh, you know, it helps you out. Hopefully it helps you out. Anyway, I'm the Crypto Nico. Thank you very much for watching this, uh, you know, this awesome uh, TA that I gave you, you know, based upon this article. Hopefully it helped you out. Hit that like and subscribe. Thank you for watching until the end, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.